Okay, folks, this is video number four, the last one for this assignment. For this assignment, you will be doing this sheet, measuring with the architect scale, and this sheet, using the architect scale. So there's two parts to this thing, right? You use it both to measure and to draw. When you wanna draw a line of a certain length and you wanna illustrate that that line is 15 feet, six inches, when one quarter inch equals one foot, you're gonna do that like this. So let's find our quarter inch scale. 15 feet, six inches. So we're starting from this side, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Now you can't see a 15 here because this guy's in the way from the scale on the other side. 14, 15, so that's our 15 foot mark right there. So we're gonna place that 15 foot mark on this side of the scale. So this is 14, 15 feet. And it's asking for six inches. Well, look at our tick marks over here. This is a full foot, so that's 12 inches. So half of that, there you go. That is 15 feet, six inches, right there. <clears throat> now, in this case, I'm using the 0.9 lead because it's nice and fat. If you don't have one, didn't get one of these pencils, or if uh, you can just use a regular pencil and that's fine. But since I want you to take a picture of this when you're done, do your best to make a nice dark line. Um, I'm not gonna be a total stickler about this line, but I need to see your finishing line. So right here we have a quarter inch scale. This represents 15 feet, six inches. Let's try another one. Let's try an eighth inch. Or how about a 3 8 inch? Let's do a 3 8 because that works from this side. Okay, 3 8 inches, this represents one foot. So we count from the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yada, yada, bada, bada, bing, here we go, 3 8 we're gonna do seven feet, two inches. So we place our ruler down, we come out here to seven feet, how far is two inches? We don't know because there aren't tick marks here. So let's move our ruler over to two inches. That's right where my missing tick mark is because it's one, two, three, four, five, six. We are at seven feet, two inches. We're gonna draw a nice dark line out to seven feet because we are going seven feet, two inches and then a hash right here. Now, why do we do this? Why am I drawing this line? Well, hopefully you watched the videos and uh, you saw the video done with the house plan. If, I'm, if this is a wall in a house in a, in a drawing that is done at 3 8 inch equals a foot, when the architect or the designer or whoever is working on the project, they need to be able to come back and know how long this line is because you've drawn it in the plan. And you can't label every single line in a plan. And they need to be able to come back and measure it and confirm, okay, this wall needs to be seven feet, two inches long. Okay, the, the, the tricky one down here, don't forget that when you're doing the one and a half inch and the three inch, uh, the one and a half inches equals a foot is longer than an inch, right? and the three inches equals a foot, a foot is much longer than an inch. So sometimes you're scaling the other direction. Sometimes an inch, a foot is more than an inch, but usually a foot is either equal when you're doing a one-to-one -one scale or is less than an inch. Okay, any questions? Sorry about that slap, that was very loud. I'm done, right? You're gonna turn this guy in and you're gonna turn this guy in you're gonna write your name and your best block print on the bottom, the date and your class period, and you're gonna take a picture of these sheets and you're gonna turn them in. So these two sheets are due and that's it for today. Once you're done with this, you're good, uh, you're good to go. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Okay, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for measuring.